Sea cucumbers are weird, dude. They belong to the phylum Echinodermata, meaning they're closely related to sea urchins and sea stars, though they probably couldn't look more different. Even amongst themselves, they vary wildly in shape and size. So this is a sea cucumber, this is a sea cucumber, and this, actually this is a dildo. Sea cucumbers are usually elongated and lie on one side, and also usually covered in tube feet. These tube feet have specialized for different functions, though they're mainly for locomotion. Some species' tube feet aren't as efficient for walking or lack them altogether, so they'll contract their body wall muscles and essentially get around like worms. Other species' tube feet have adapted to help them swim. In biology, exceptions are the norm, and sea cucumbers are a great example of exceptions. A unique feature of these organisms are the tentacles surrounding their mouth, which are specialized tube feet and vary almost as much as the organisms themselves. They can be branched, which are usually used for filter feeding, leaf-like, or digitated, usually used for scavenging or sifting through sediment. Nowadays we use genetics, but biologists traditionally use tentacles to distinguish and classify different groups of sea cucumbers. All right, taking a look at the schematic image, you'll notice that the rectum is connected to what are called respiratory trees. And this allows these animals to do a few very interesting things. The first is that this means they actually breathe through their anus, most of them anyways. Dilations and contractions of the rectum and anal sphincter allows water to enter and flow through these respiratory trees. The second thing it allows them to do is have a very strange defense mechanism. They can evert a part of the respiratory trees called the cubarian tubules through their anus to ward off any predators. These tubules elongate, reaching up to 30 times their original size and become adhesive to immobilize potential predators. And some species can actually expel their entire respiratory trees, the digestive tract, and their gonads in a process known as evisceration. <clears throat> Sorry, let me do that again. In a process known as evisceration. But don't go pooping out your lungs in terror just yet, because these animals can regenerate all those organs over the course of a few weeks. Believe it or not, there is a dark side to breathing through Uranus, and that is that these animals suffer from fish living inside their butts. The pearl fish will sometimes make its home inside a sea cucumber via their anus. Sometimes the relationship is commensal, meaning the pearl fish benefits with the habitat, but doesn't hurt the sea cucumber. Other species of pearl fish, however, are parasitic and will end up eating their gonads or other organs from the inside. So that's the dildo, I mean sea cucumber, a 400 plus million year old walking, crawling, floating amorphous blob with branched or not branched tentacles and an anus for pooping and breathing. One of the weirdest and coolest things that's ever evolved on the planet.